there are plenty of pretty people who are not necessarily smoke show. You say someone ought to smoke show. They don't go, what? They go, yeah, that makes sense. Once we start putting the local girls on, everyone who knows the girl, they hear about it and it would go viral. It became like a, a feather in the cap on campus as Barstool got bigger. I realized that if you went to the right schools, if you knew the right people, that there are like famous level pretty walking around like the rest of us. Olivia Culpo, Kristen Leahy, Molly McGrath. I have probably changed thousands of girls' lives. Hi, I'm Trista Crick, Barstool's correspondent. Today, we're looking at the term smoke show, a ubiquitous phrase in pop culture that was created within the walls of Barstool. So I wanted to investigate its meaning and its origin. But what I found out was that everyone seems to have a different definition for what is and what is not a smoke. So tell me about the origin of not just the term smoke show, but how that relates to Barstool. The first time I ever heard the term smoke show, Dave Portnoy said it to me, and I had never heard it before. I think him and his buddies created it. Well, that wasn't my friends. That was just, I think that was just me. Like the old Miami Hurricanes used to run out of the tunnel at the Orange Bowl with smoke everywhere. And when we came up with smoke show the day, it was more like, all right, oh my God, like this girl's coming out of the tunnel smoke show. That That's where Gen the Genesis was from. I remember reading it in high school. So freshman year was 2005. So that's how I heard of the term. I never heard of it before. I would say that's like for your show here, the school slang, I would say that was probably the first word. What is your definition of smoke show? Hot chick. Plain and simple, but there are plenty of pretty, pretty people who are not necessarily smoke show. And I actually want to amend what I what I said because I think it probably started out as just chicks, but now I think anything could be a smoke show. I think a hot guy, a hot girl. You could tell me that your cheeseburger is a smoke show. Anything that's like wow. A smoke scares you. I think a smoke where you're like, all right, a smoke a smoke isn't a human. You can't define it and you can't possess it. It's just a a smoke show is like a black Mustang. You just you don't, you don't put it in a cage. You let that thing roam out there. Yeah, I still look at smoke show from like what the earlier days, which was like the girl next door, pretty girl on campus that maybe was the undiscovered gem who didn't really care about being pretty, didn't show off, didn't take selfies, didn't do any of that because that didn't really exist. The girl that you would see at the bar at college and. No, you had no shot, but think maybe if you had your A game, maybe I bring the heat and I, I have like a small chance of this girl way out of my league. They were girls living living amongst us. Like, so it was kind of the, it was just a really pretty girl, but it was local smoke show of the day. So in that sense, it was attainable. Like I always said that back in the day, that was the difference between Max. And, like their cover models were under table. Ours you'd see in the streets, at bars and schools. So it was, it was attainable. And then over time, that's evolved with Instagram, right? Yeah, Instagram kind of, um, Instagram was almost like, damn, there's too many hot people in the world. But we re-de-emphasized we de -emphasized Smoke Show once Instagram really kind of got kicked up because you could go see pretty girls at any moment on Instagram. Before that, you really, if you wanted to find the college girl that was pretty, you'd have to go to Barstool Sports. And then how do you think that helped propel the growth of the company? So I think the only way we got onto college early on was because of the smoke shows. So we would literally reach out by Facebook and message girls and say, hey, you've been nominated for a smoke show of the day on Barstool Sports. They would generally be like, what the fuck is Barstool Sports? So it was all local girls. So once we started putting the local girls on, you know, if a girl's on, everyone who knows the girl, let's say PC or BU, they hear about it and they share it and it would go viral like that girl. Um, so it was a really good way to just organically spread the brand. I would say it was incredibly important to success. It was the first word that basically got into circulation. And then if anyone asked, where'd you hear that? You go barstoolsports.com. It was like, Smoke Show was like the first advertisement, I think, for Barstool. As time went on, like we'd always ask permission. So we get nominations from guys generally. And then we'd say, hey, you've been nominated. Um, are you okay with us taking your picture? We just take the pictures they already had posted. And by, you know, a couple of years into it, it was like a legit honor. Like most girls would be like, yeah, absolutely take the pictures. Who's the first smoke show that you recall hiring to promote Barstool? The first smoke show that did it was actually Jenna Marbles. Uh, she wasn't the first smoke show to be on Barstool, but she was the first girl that we had featured and then brought in to like work with us in some capacity. And she did some modeling and then obviously ran a website here. What are some iconic smoke shows in Barstool history. I could say some of the ones that I worked with the most were the Little Red Heidi Hood, Lara McCorder, Colorado, Great Girl, all, all of them really yeah. great, great young women. I can tell uh, she has a piece of your art there. We would do contests 
to find the hottest girl in the country. And we actually, the first one everyone know with Casey McDonald, who is now a girl at Fox News. There's other girls, Cara Maria from MTV that was featured. She became onto MTV after. Kristen Leahy was another one who was a smoke show the day before she was on with Colin Coward. And then like to tie it into Barstool now, like Alex Cooper. Like from Call Her Daddy, she was a smoke show at Boston University six or seven years ago. And that's really the only reason why I saw them recording a podcast is because she was on my feed because we had followed her because she was a smoke show and we saw her recording a podcast. So smoke show of the day actually could be seen as almost like a lily pad for career growth. It could be a lily pad for career growth. And I, we've talked to a lot of athletes over the, over the time that said it was like a minor league system for them to be able to troll through and find girls that they would be interested in. As a college student, when social media was just like starting, it was like an automatic follow. Cause it was like, dude, this is like, these guys are just pretty much showing the world how good looking girls are all across the country. And it's like, man, this is incredible. How many careers do you think were launched as a result of girls becoming the smoke show of the day? We've had a million girls come through like be smoke shows, but I, I, I guess I wouldn't have used the term we launched their careers, but oh. like, you know, Olivia Culpo, she was a smoke show. Molly McGrath was a smoke show. It's an honor really to watch their careers blossom. That's what I always sort of took pride in. And I always personally really appreciated the girls that attribute Marshall with sort of launching their career. They'll be like, yeah, thank you for posting me. Thanks for all the merch and stuff like that really launched my career. There are a large amount of girls that like we featured that nobody knew about and then they became like, you know, high profile people. I don't want to take over credit here, but I have probably changed thousands of girls' lives. I've made some superstars. Sounds about, sounds like Tommy, yeah. I'm sure Tommy thinks a lot of girls out there owe, owe their lives to him. He said uh, thousands of lives have been changed. Yeah, that's because he, you know, he's a little weirdo, but he has clicked publish on some, some women that uh, made something of themselves. At what point did everyone start saying it? At least a decade. I mean, they've been saying it for a long time, a long ass time. It's We've been around so long, there's words that, again, people don't know. I was trying to say that with Hardo the other day, but it's like, all right, we'll go back and find anybody using it before me. It's like, can't. I think recently Justin Timberlake called Jessica Biel a smoke show on like a happy birthday post or an anniversary post. But there was a couple instances, I think, of like celebrities or, or at least well-known people using it. Every time it would happen, we would always kind of be like, you know, David meant to that, that's a barstool thing. And there would be people like, you don't seriously think you invented Smoke Show, do you? And I was like, yeah, I think we did on this one. Do you think people say Smoke Show now that don't have any idea its connection to Barstool because of how prevalent that word now is? Well, undoubtedly, absolutely, yeah. I, mean, I think Barstool's the home for a lot of words and phrases like that, where over time it's, it's origin has gotten lost. That's when you know that Barstool's reached, it was like Saturdays for the boys. You'd have people who are our sworn enemies saying it, not realizing. Smoke is used almost by, it's used by all my friends and they don't really read Barstool. It's just become a word that like guys use to say for hot girl. I, I think it's like the number one, like you say that girl's a smoke is like the first thing out of your mouth when you see a hot, uh, hot girl that, that you're interested in. It was one of those words where you, when you hear it the first time, you never had to explain it to anybody. It's the, it's the perfect word. It's the absolute, like, you still, I, I still don't, it doesn't really have a definition, but it has a definition. It's inherent. You just know it. You say someone, oh, it's a smoke show. They don't go, what? They go, even the first time hearing the word, they go, yeah, that makes sense. I did a smoke show right there.